everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for this look right here. I know I've been doing a lot of kind of going out makeup tutorials lately, but I've been really inspired by some of the dark colors that I have in my collection, so I hope you guys don't mind. But today is actually more of a wearable dark look, especially if you're not really into like the purples and the blues and the reds and things like that. This is more of a neutral uh, going out look. It's a lot of browns. Um, there's a little bit of a copper color in there, but it is mostly browns. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I um, Obviously the lighting in this particular video, or the lighting in this scene is actually different from the lighting in the actual tutorial, and that's because I filmed the tutorial earlier, probably a couple hours ago, and when I went to edit the footage, I realized that my intro and my outro uh, were completely blurry, and I didn't want to post that for you guys, so I am filming a different intro, um, still the same look, still the same everything, um, except it is later at night, so that's why I have some of the artificial lights on. So I hope you guys don't mind, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and get right into the tutorial Okay guys, so first I'm actually going to prime my eyelids with my NYX eyeshadow base in white And this is just going to help um, the colors to be a bit more vibrant because we are going to be using some very neutral colors And honestly the pigmentation of the shadows I'm going to show you guys really only pop if I'm wearing uh, an eyeshadow base so I'm just using white to give them a little bit extra something because if I was doing a nude, uh, it wouldn't show up as much. So the first color we're going to be taking is this one right here and it has a bit of a yellowish tan tint to it but it also has some nice light um, silver shimmer in it. We're just going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid. Next I'm going to be taking this CoverGirl uh, quad and this is I believe in the color Urban Basics. Uh, my sticker rubbed off and it has it in like a short name in the back so I believe this is Urban Basics and the color we're going to be taking is this champagne right here and this also again has uh, some silver shimmer to it and this we're actually just going to place uh, in the inner third or the inner two thirds of the eye so the inner half so right here. So next I'm going to be working in the outer corner of the eye and this is the color I'm going to be taking this is a nice taupey brown it is a matte shade there's no shimmer to it and this I'm going to put in the outer corner of the eye and just kind of pat that there just working it into the V don't go too far into the crease uh, this way because we're actually going to be adding some more color there Okay, now taking this nice terracotta color, this again is a matte shade. This is also going to go into the crease, but we're going to use a blending brush to blend it up so that as you can see on this eye, it actually highlights the nice dark color. So again, I'm just going to pat this, and what we're doing is patting it just so it comes just a bit above, probably a little less than a centimeter above that brown color that we already placed. And bring this all the way to the inner corner. I'm just going to take my Cine Kashuk blending brush and just kind of blend these colors together. I'm just going to take a little more of that terracotta color and blend it out. Alright, next we're just going to go in with a little bit more of that matte brown shade. And this we're just going to place right here on the outer V just to deepen up the V a bit before we add the next color. And also don't forget to sweep it out a little tiny bit onto the lid. We don't want to go too far. Okay, so this next step is pretty important. You don't want to get too much onto your brush because um, a little with this color goes a long way and we are going to be blending it out. So you definitely know, don't need that much. I'm actually going to be taking this little tiny shader brush right here. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. Um, this is the Coastal Scents. S12. We're going to be taking this nice dark chocolate brown, which is a satin. It's not a matte, but it doesn't have any shimmer. And this is going to go in the outer, this is going to go in the V. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pat this in a line. Now it's going to look really harsh at first. It's going to look like a legit line on our in our crease, but we're going to blend it out. So it's going to look like that, but we are going to blend this out. Just smudge it a little bit with your brush just so it's easier for the blending brush to really blend it. Now what I like to do is actually take a little bit on the blending brush and just pat it into the corner and then just kind of blend it up a bit only because we do want it to match up with the effect that we have of the other colors underneath it, the terracotta and the darker brown.
Okay guys, so I decided to go ahead and deepen up this eye just a little bit because we did, I did add a bit more product um, on this particular eye, but I actually like it better. I think it adds a nice smoked out look. Now once you've thoroughly blended this darker brown color, we're going to go back in with the fluffy brush, pick up a little bit of that terracotta, and just place it on top because I still want that color to come through. So I'm going to take this thin flat shader brush, which has a hair on it. That's nice. Anyways, I'm going to take this one and I'm actually going to be taking this gold, this really, really shimmery gold color. And this I am just going to pat in the outer corner just to give it a little bit more dimension. Taking that same brush, I'm actually going to take the color next to it, which is a beautiful rose gold. And this I'm actually going to pat all over the lid. Now I'm just going to take this very, very like light skin tone color and this is going to be my highlight. I'm just going to put this underneath the arch of my brow. Last but not least, I'm going to use an angled liner brush and I'm going to pick up this uh, taupe color that we used earlier and that I'm actually going to place underneath my lower lash line. Now I'm going to be using my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner, and this I'm actually going to make a pretty wide cat eye. Um, it is pretty thick on this eye, and it also goes into a bit of a triangle shape. It's not going to be as thin as a normal cat eye. What I do is I take it out, and then I bring it underneath the, just about a quarter of the way underneath the lower lash line. Next, you just need to curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I'm actually going to be using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, and I have been loving this mascara. It is definitely my favorite favorite of the moment. Um, you can use any black mascara you want, but this is the one that I have been absolutely adoring recently. And for lips, I'm actually just going to use this Revlon Lip Gloss in Pango Peach. I am obsessed with this. It is in the new packaging and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really liked the video and if you'd like to see more tutorials from me, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to comment below if you have any um, suggestions of any makeup looks that I should do in the future. I would love to hear what you guys think or uh, what you guys want to see on my channel. So again, thank you so much for watching. I do believe this video is going to be up after I post my 200 subscriber giveaway. I will have a link in the description box below if you guys want to check out the giveaway and enter. It is going on until August 15th, so you guys have plenty of time. And uh, yeah, so that's that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!